Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and I am a software test engineer. In this channel, I create a lot of videos related to testing like Selenium, Playwright, Protector and quite a few Chrome extension development series and there are few videos on the Flutter development. Today, I am very excited to start a new series on Angular. Angular is cool, but why? I might be sound a little harsh here, but accept the reality. Most of testers like me do not like the development kind of stuff. Even though testers want to learn something related to development, something that is missing. And here I am going to give that push. I started to learn Angular in the past one year and I have learned quite a good amount of knowledge in Angular and I am going to share the same. I have created my own website called letcode.in and recently it got monetized and I have earned my first $1 from the Google AdSense. So if I can do it, of course you can also do it. With that said, I believe that is fair enough to make you understand why I am starting this course now. So my ideal goal is to teach the testers also the development. How they are going to get benefit out of this is basically if you know how development stuff works, you can test the application very well. That is one thing that I learned from my experience. And another end, of course, you can if you can build a website that is going to help someone, even you can monetize and you can gain a passive income, right? Everybody loves passive income. And I think you should make use of your knowledge to do something like this. Okay. Now, with that enough said, let's go and see how to do the installation. A best way to learn anything is by referring the official documentation. This is the official website of Angular, uh, angular.io and if you go to the docs section and if you go to this getting started within that we have this setup. We are going to do the setup but before that what is Angular? Angular is a front-end framework that is used to build single page application. What is single page application and what are the benefits out of it? We will learn everything in detail in our upcoming videos. As of now we are going to just do the installation. So if you go to the setup, here you can see that we have pre requesting Of course, you should know the JavaScript uh, for sure, but TypeScript will be added advantage here. Okay. Apart from that, also you should have a basic knowledge on HTML and CSS. If you do not know that, don't worry. I am here to help you that. And TypeScript, of course, it's an added advantage. And if you do not know TypeScript, I will recommend you to learn that first. Already in our channel, I have posted like 10 videos uh, and I think that is pretty much enough okay so we are going to do the installation so for this installation we need the node uh, node.js and then we need the vs code that is the default editor we are going to use okay and here this is the command npm install dash g dash g in the sense it's a global flag and we are going to use the angular cli so angular cli it's going to make our task really easy so we can create project we can run we can build we can deploy everything with the help of angular ci cli and we are going to see that in detail in our upcoming videos okay this video just for the installation nothing else so i'm just going to copy this command and let's go to our windows r cmd if you are on mac the steps are going to be pretty same but i have only windows okay so i'm just going to paste it here and i'm going to give enter that should download all the uh, files necessity files in my app data folder i will show you that okay so if you go to your windows r and if you type like app data and if you go to this roaming and within that you can find your node npm within that you can say something like node modules and within the within this folder they are going to see all the angular cli files okay so once the angular installation is done we can see it so here you can see at the rate angular which just get downloaded okay and for some reason we have some error i believe Okay, I got error in your case if you are doing it for the very first time, it should not appear because before the video, just to show you, I deleted all the Angular from my uh, node models folder. So that is why I am getting this error. But nothing to worry, I can just use the dash dash force flag to install it forcefully and that should work for sure. Let me show you that. Okay, so here you can see that it done and it says like added 240 packages and if you go to this Angular folder, you can see everything. Like within the CLA, you can see all this stuff. Okay, so let's not worry about it. Like what is what? Uh, let's don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I will name it like Angular dash projects. And within that, I'm going to uh, open my command prompt 
So here in the address bar, I can say like CMD. And here we are going to create our first project. So to do that, it's very simple. You can just, you have to add like ng new and then followed by the project name. So let's go and do that. So here I'm going to say ng uh, new and then followed by the project name. Now I'm going to give like play dash let code. It's going to create a new project for me uh, within the directory called play dash let code. Okay, so let's see. It might take little while and we have to do some configurations like this. So it says like, could you like to add Angular routing? So yes, we are going to add that. Routing in the sense like if you want to uh, do the like from from one page to another, we, ha we are going to use the concept of routing. So here it says like whether you want or not, definitely you want, so we'll give like yes. And then it's going to ask you like whether you, how your style sheet should be. So it's going to be CSS or the SAS. Okay. I'm going to make use of SAS. Uh, I will tell you all the benefits later on this, later on videos. Okay. So I'm going to select the SAS and I'm going to give enter. This will take little time to create all the Angular dependencies, all the Angular files, default files. There will be a lot of files, but do not worry about anything. I will help you to make you understand like what is what in more detail. Okay, so successfully the project is created. Now we can say like CD and then I can select play dash let code. And within this folder, we are going to open our VS code. So I can say like code and then followed by period. That should bring up my VS code. Now within this, you can see like we have this node models, like all the default Angular code will be there. And here we have the SSE folder. And within that, we have a lot of folders. We are going to discuss each and everything uh, in our upcoming videos. Okay. Now let's see, uh, by default, whenever we create a project with the help of Angular CLI, it's going to give us a project. So we are going to run that. To run any Angular project, it's very simple command. You can make use of the Angular CLI. So here we have to say like ng so dash dash open. And here I'm going to bring up my terminal within the VS code itself. So control J and I'm going to say ng uh, so dash o. So dash o is nothing but dash dash open so here you can see dash dash open so here we are going to say dash open that's pretty much fine it's like sort allies okay and first thing you will notice notice like uh, whether you want to give like usage like google will understand like how we are making use of it so if you want to share your data you can in this case i'm going to give in i don't want to share anything so that's fine and it will take a few minutes based on your system capability for the first time, it will take some time, but in like once we do the for the second time, third time, it will be a little faster. Okay. So you can see like compiled successfully, and we got this in the local host four two double zero. By default, it will open your in your browser. So here you can select local host four two double zero. Okay. So here this is the basic application that is given by the Angular. So here you can go to this like if you want to learn Angular, you can go to the tutorial section. You can learn about the CLI documentation and so many things. But you don't have to worry about anything as of now. Okay. So here you can select play dot let code play dash let code app is running okay so this is how we have to create a project and we have to run our project from the upcoming videos we will learn each and everything more in detail okay so that's it for this video uh, if you like this concept and if you like the this kind of tutorials uh, kindly give a like that will help me to bring more content in our channel so thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tata, bye -bye. take care